Hi, let's get this video started. Okay, so I'm Madison White, but I go by Maddie. Yeah, that's besides the point. So I already did my eyebrows. I thought it'd be cool to let you, my audience, get to know me. How old am I? Now, if you were to guess down below, you'd probably get it wrong. Everyone always gets it wrong. But I have a lot of things to prove that I'm this age. I am 21. I have a 2001 tattoo driver's license and I'm in college 21 okay next question this is a really good question what made me want to start YouTube and if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel and you've been looking for a sign I think that you should start a YouTube channel if you have a channel if you're thinking about starting one I will be your first subscriber top on and I hope I look like a cupcake because that was the that was the point okay why did I start a YouTube channel two years ago on Christmas well, I started YouTube because I don't want a regular job. I don't want a regular job. I want a few jobs when I when I get older. <laughs> I guess when I graduate from college. I want a few jobs. And whatever job I have, I hope that the main goal is always to help others. I think you can really help others with making videos because of when you make these videos, you're focused on the audience. I'm not distracted by anything. I'm just talking to you. That's helping others, helping people not feel alone. Okay, yeah, that's why I started a YouTube channel. And it's fun. It's fun. I can be creative and I hope it takes me to new heights and new opportunities. I'm not putting on any makeup. I'm just talking. But this is fun. This is very, very fun. Okay, obviously, my favorite color is lilac purple, which I am wearing today on purpose. Mm -mm. LA girl. LA girl. I want to go to LA one day. Oh my gosh. They have in and out Burger. And I made animal style fries before by myself. They were pretty good. They got the animal style fries. They got uh, burgers. Not a big burger person, but uh, I like to try their animal style fries because who doesn't like french fries? I love french fries. Mm. It's weird to be looking at a camera and doing this because I can't see what I'm doing, which I don't like. Creeps me out. Okay, favorite color, lilac purple. Did we already say that? Okay, I think we did. Um, favorite food, I was just talking about In-N-Out Burger. Never been there, but want to go there because it's in LA. Favorite food, pizza, wings, french fries. Mexican food, chicken. You know chicken is like $30 now? Oh my gosh. Ooh, chicken is expensive. All right. Do I want kids? Not anytime soon. No, not anytime soon. No, not anytime soon. Okay, what are my big, 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 bibble, remember Bibble <laughs> from Victoria's? Don't know where you are now, what it will come to if I Oh my gosh, remember a cat was just addicted to Bibble? And it was just popcorn. I thought Bibble was real too. I was like, I want some Bibble. It's so good. Cat, don't be stingy. Just give him a little nibble of the Bibble. No! Oh gosh. We love Cat. We love Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande is just absolutely amazing. Ooh, maybe I wear my, uh, my REM lipstick. Her makeup is pretty good too though. Okay, but what's my biggest accomplishment? As a 21 year old, I think graduating college, which I will graduate college in the spring of 2023, I think that'll be one of my biggest accomplishments. So yeah, that would be it.
my goals this year we are halfway through the year it is june that went by fast or do you feel like it went by slow do you feel like this year went by fast or slow goals this year i don't remember what goals i started off with this year but i think it was just i think my goal every year is always to learn more about mental health personally and in general because i'm all into mental health if you follow me on instagram which you should i always post stuff about mental health and everything I guess it's always to figure out what makes me happy and to find new things that can make me happy too. Cause life's short and you gotta find things that make you happy. You have to do what you love. You can't care what people think. I know it's easier said than done. Cause I say that to people when they say that to me. I'm like easier said, easier said, okay. But if you find new things that make you happy, I think that's pretty cool. So I think that was one of my goals this year. We need to finish putting this out because I look funny. Okay. Have I traveled internationally? And if so, where? I've been to Canada, Ontario, and Canada, Niagara Falls. So, yeah. Because where I am from originally, because I live in Florida right now, but I am from Buffalo, New York. And Buffalo, New York is pretty close to Canada. So, I yes, I have traveled internationally. I've been to Canada, Niagara Falls, and Canada, Ontario. Now, Canada, Ontario was really fun. It was, I think we went to some type of theme park. But I just remember ice cream, hard rocks, and some rides, which were really fun. Lancome, Lancome, that sounds so funny, Lancome, that was like something, I don't know, something weird you would see in like a 1960s movie, some person named Lancome or like, well Lancome sounds like phone for you or something like that, some type of weird thing, I don't know what I'm talking about, wow that was a piece of hair, we need to blend this out, I'm gonna look absolutely ridiculous. Okay, I must have ran out of storage because I was supposed to be doing my makeup and talking and answering questions. And I did start off that way, but yeah, something happened. I'm glad I realized it and I came back, but you know what? It's all good. This video is just for you to get to know me. So make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell. Okay, but let's continue with the questions. Favorite place to shop? Well, I love thrift shopping and so does my mom. I think I got it from my mom. Okay, my go-to restaurant would be Duff's back home, which is wings and everything. I love wings and also love tacos. I don't know if I said that already. But my go-to restaurant here will be Bahama Breeze because they have amazing, amazing, they have amazing Jamaican food, key lime pie, and Bahama Mama. What's my biggest takeaway from 2022? My biggest takeaway from 2022 would be that little things don't matter. When people treat you like crap and they say mean things about you and mean things to you and they try to put you down and make you out to be someone that you're not or they say things behind your back or they no longer want to be in your life, that doesn't matter. What matters is the people that love you. Hey, my favorite smells, I love anything apple, pumpkin. Yes, I'm a big fall girl. And also love lilac and vanilla smells. But some vanilla perfumes, why do they have so much glitter in them? Why do they sell glitter perfumes anyway? Like why would you want glitter all over your body if you just came from a parade? But if you want to look like you just came from a parade, then that's you. I mean, that's pretty cool, but I don't look like I came from a parade. And glitter never goes away. My top three favorite reality shows has to be hands down Catfish, Love Island, and Keeping Up the Kardashians. Okay, is season one over, Keeping Up the Kardashians? But Catfish, you have to watch Catfish if you don't feel good, if you're having a bad day. Catfish just lifts your spirits. Whew, that show is something else. And I love Love Island because I love dating shows where everyone gets a chance to be with someone. And I just think it's very entertaining when people meet each other and fall in love and all that good stuff. Or don't fall in love. If you don't believe in people falling in love on TV, then that's probably true. Probably don't. And last but not least, my favorite TV shows are Pretty Little Liars and Stranger Things. 
Yes, I finished Stranger Things, and I'm waiting for Volume 2, July 1st. Do you think Nancy's going to die? Or, like, Dustin? Or Max? Do you think someone's going to die on Stranger Things, or are they just going to keep it cool? I don't know. There were some rumors that they felt bad about killing Chrissy off because Chrissy and... What's his name? You know who I'm talking about. <laughs> He's kind of cute. But anyway... <laughs> <laughs> they have really good chemistry, but you know, she wanted to do the snap snaps. So, but I think I would die on Stranger Things because I don't have a favorite song. Yeah. I like Stranger Things because it takes place in the 80s and Winona Ryder is in it. Love her. Beetle guys, not Beetle Juice. But anyway, oh, I was talking about Stranger Things, but Pretty Little Liars, I'm re watching it now and I think I'm almost done. I think I have like one more season left, but I watched it when it came on. I used to watch it with my mom and everything. But yeah, I love any type of show that has murder, love, mystery, and I also love books like that, that have mystery and love, romance, all that good stuff. So yeah, Pretty Little Liars is a really good show and I love it. But thank you again for watching this video. I hope you got to know me a little bit more and you asked me more questions in the comments. Comments, comments, comments. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe, click the notification bell. And I hope that we get to know each other through this community. We can build a community. And yeah, I think that's all. Okay, bye. Mm -hmm. <laughs>